Oh, hi everybody, welcome back to uh, my Bible study. My name is Mark and you're watching Welcome to Mark's Bible Study. So happy to see you. Today is Monday. Uh, today is Monday, the 7th of October, 2024. It's 9.20 a.m. It's a beautiful weather today. It's a beautiful weather today to go outside and um, spend some time outside to get some fresh air and do all those kinds of things. So today I want to talk to you about Paul's work for the church because Paul... Uh, before he got born again, he did some he did some things that they were not really they were not really uh, necessary and uh, uh, good. So today, Paul's work for church. So I want to talk to you about uh, really. Let's read the scripture here. I am glad when I suffer for you in my body, for I am participating in the sufferings of Christ that continue yeah, for his body, the church. God has given me the responsibility of serving his church by proclaiming his entire message to you. Excuse me. This message was kept secret for uh, centuries and generations uh, and generations past, but I know, but uh, but now it has been revealed to God's people. For God wanted them to know that the riches and angry of uh, glory of Christ are for your for you Gentiles too. And yes, and uh, is the secret of Christ lives in you. This gives you insurance of sharing his glory. So will others uh, tell others about Christ, warning everyone and teaching everyone with all the wisdom God has given us. We want to present them to God perfect in their relationship to Christ. That's why I work and struggle so hard depending on Christ's mighty power that works within me. So today we are going to talk about how to uh, uh, really. Uh, today we're gonna talk to. Uh, I, today, I, today I'm gonna talk to you how to really. Uh, 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 how to really. Uh, you know, I don't know what to say, but yeah, uh, but Christ is our God, isn't he? God, God, Christ is our God, and He is our Creator. He is our Creator. He is, excuse me, He, excuse me. He is our Master, and He is, uh, and He is the Creator of heaven and earth, isn't it? So we need, we need to, so we need to, uh, so we need to acknowledge that. We need to acknowledge that we, as the we as Christians, that we believers in Christ, are we? We do. Uh, we believe we are the believers of Christ, and we are believing in Christ Jesus. So Jesus is. So Jesus is our Creator of heaven and earth. Just as the, this is what what I just said. The point is about believing in Christ is stop doing sinful things. Stop doing sinful things. And stay away from evil nature. Stay away from sexual moralities, from impurity, from uh, from those other kinds of things that are that are against God. So the thing is about the whole thing about believing in Christ that you follow Christ. Not because this is your choice, no, that is just because you are the believer. So the believers are trying to teach about Christ, to trying to teach the Bible, uh, that, is Paul, uh, that is Paul works for church. When Paul is working for church, it's just because Paul is working for, uh, is just, is, 
because Paul is working for Christ, because Christ is the church. Christ is, a, in, is in charge of the church. He is in charge of the church. So the thing is that Christ is in charge of the church means that Paul is working for the church. He has been forgiven. He has been born again. So he's working for church. He's not working for a Roman Empire anymore. He's working for church. The church is uh, the church is a place when you are, when you, you know, as a pastor or services and all that stuff. But this is God's house. This is Christ's house. This is where Christ. And uh, this is where. Yeah, this is where yeah, this is where you serve Christ in church. We serve Christ every single day, not in church, but in the public places. We serve uh, we serve God even in uh, our houses. We serve God everywhere. The thing is uh, that Paul is trying to say that uh, the Paul is trying to say that people usually forget that Christ is our creator. He is God, uh, he is the king of all kings. He is the creator of heaven and earth. He is uh, sitting on the, uh, on the throne of his father. So, so, uh, so he is waiting for us to, so we can get to kingdom of heaven. And because of his second coming, because of the second coming, we do acknowledge that that uh, we acknowledge this that he's coming the second time. He's coming the second time, so we need to we need to be ready. We need to be prepared. We need to be ready just in case of the just in case of some some kind of uh, bad incidents, uh, the wars and all that stuff, those are already the signs of the end times. We are now in the end times. Now, we are now in the end times. We are now in the middle of seals. Now we are in the middle of seals because, because of the year of 2025, of the year of 2020. For 2025, 2026, lots of things are gonna happen. Lots of things will change. Lots of things will uh, uh, probably get better or probably get worse. We never know what's gonna happen. We never know what's gonna happen. The year is going after year after year after year. We need to be ready for the second coming of Jesus. So Jesus is gonna, uh, is gonna store all those people who are, who are in bad, rebellious behavior and those who are in good behavior and they are worshiping him on a regular basis. So those who worship him on a regular basis, that means when we worship Christ, when we worship in Christ, we will get persecuted. The sinners are going to be on fire, but we will get persecuted in another way. But we will be, get uh, resurrected. We will get resurrected and when, uh, when people die in him, the people die in him, they will be resurrected. That is so that is, that is so encouraging for other believers because the other things that that really, really, really you have to really think about is to acknowledge that the second coming of the second coming of Christ is mentioning in the Bible all the time. Not, not seriously in the book of, uh, seriously in, uh, the, not seriously in the book, seriously in the book of Revelation, but still, 
in the book of James, the book of Hebrews, the book of uh, the book of other uh, the book of other books. Even an Old Testament is uh, even in the Old Testament it was uh, it is mentioned the second coming of Jesus Christ. For example, the book of Isaiah is a prophet that talks about talks about his prophecy and about the second coming of Christ or the book of Daniel the book of uh, the the book, the book of Ezekiel is talking about vision uh, Ezekiel was a prophet that he had a very good relationship with God but still he had a, a the book of Ezekiel is so weird because of Ezekiel's visions from God. He saw all those mysterious creatures, mysterious creatures, and like out of the blue. So this is the whole thing about, so this is the whole thing about, uh, the second, uh, the se the second coming of Jesus, that is mentioned mentioned in uh, even all books in the Bible. For example, in the book of First Thessalonians, when my my pastor was uh, when my pastor was yet uh, uh, was preaching uh, yesterday about the second coming, he said that. Uh, he said uh, he said that the people uh, that Jesus that he is coming but we don't know when he's coming he said that I don't really remember what he said but but something he said about that people who are sinners will be on fire and people who will uh, is and people who are uh, and, and people who are uh, in Jesus, they are gonna be with him. So they get uh, so we will get raptured. I don't know. Rapture is a teleportation to the kingdom of heaven. It's not exactly a teleportation, but it's exact. Uh, it's uh, rapture is. Go into kingdom of heaven. <laughs> really, rapture is a go, uh, is going to kingdom of heaven. The only way, the only way you're gonna enter the ki uh, kingdom of heaven is believing in Jesus as going through Him. Is going through Him because He is God. He uh, He's alive all the time, and He's watching us all the time when we do it. So the thing is, God can do all things. God can create things that are invisible. God create can uh, God, God can create things that are visible. But those things that are invisible, we don't see. How God created this? That's a good question. God is amazing. God can do all things. God can do lots of things that really people do not really understand what, what God is trying to do. But God, He understands by Himself what He has, uh, what He's doing. God knows His name. In the book of Revelation, it's mentioned that the God, uh, the, the man in the the, the horse rider that nobody knows that man just himself he knows just himself it's a kind of surprise isn't it excuse me the surprise from God and uh, what Joel Olstein was mentioning in the Old Testament about Abraham and Sarah they were very old, 
They they were too old to have kids. They were too old to have kids. But there was go the surprise. This is what happened to Abraham and Sarah. Sarah got pregnant, and she raised Isaac. She raised Isaac. So she raised Isaac. So that was a surprise. Lots of those things. Lots of those things are, do, are going to be those surprises. But the only thing is, it depends on you. Do you believe in God or not? If you are not a Christian, you don't believe in God, and you are a sinner, then God is going to put you in sort of with those people who do not believe in Christ. But people who believe in Christ, because I believe, because I believe in Christ, I believe in God, I believe in Christ, I go to church reading the Bible, during, uh, doing my Bible studies, doing this on a regular basis, doing this like, you know, three times a week, <laughs> doing this three times a week. That doesn't mean, that means that we, that we are written in the book of life. Those who do not, or who are not written in the book of life, those go, go uh, I'm sorry, you're going to the, the other kingdom than the kingdom of heaven. The other kingdom. And the thing is, you need to acknowledge that now Paul is working like this for the church, that people are trying to, that Paul is trying to explain, that Paul is trying to explain that, Paul is trying to explain that he's working for Christ. He's working for the church because this is God's house. Do you see what's going on? So the Christ house, Christ house, is God's house. So this is the church. They're the church. So this is the church. So that's all so that's okay to believe in Christ and do all those things through him. Set your minds above and uh, not an earthly things. That is amazing to do. Isn't it? That is so amazing to do. But the thing is, if you believe in Christ, you should not focus on earthly things. You should focus on the things that are above the earth. Thank you so much. And I'll see you next time. Thank you so much. Uh, 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 thank you so much for work. Uh, yeah, listening to me, uh, to Paul's uh, work for the church. I hope you really like it. Please subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell. Share it with a friend if uh, uh, as much as you can. And I will see you tomorrow uh, at the same uh, at the same time. Thank you so much. God bless you. Stay happy. Keep smiling and keep worshiping the Lord because lots of other messages are coming.